Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today we're doing a get ready with me on this burgundy look. I also partnered with Nay to show you how I style their barely zero brows at the end. So if you want to see some outfits or want to catch up, just keep watching. So I'm going to try out the House Laboratories liquid eyeliner in Whiskey. This is their brown eyeliner. Next I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury brown liner. I used two separate coal liners, one for the eyelid and then one in my waterline just because this one stays a lot longer. Taking a burgundy liner. This is actually a lip liner. I've been really into this palette recently. It's the Lala Coral Mingo. Coral Flamingo. It's so cute. It's so small. I love how that soft matte red looks. It looks like red velvety, you know? Mm, I'm getting tempted to add red eyeshadow, but I know it's gonna detract from the liner. Since my last chit chat get ready with me, I really like emphasizing my double eyelid right here. It like adds a little bit more definition to my eyes. Okay, so next is lashes, and I'm gonna use the Etude House Curl Fix Mascara in Plum Burgundy. I got some comments of people who tried the Etude House one, and they were like, oh, I find it too clumpy for my lashes. So this is what I would recommend for that, the Kill Lash from Clio. I'll show you the wand. You can see this one's a lot thinner than the other one. Because the wand is thinner, it isn't as clumpy, like it doesn't pick up as much product. Etude House one is still my favorite because I still think this one actually looks very natural. It just makes your lashes look a little bit thinner. Thicker, you know, I am of course gonna use my gel lashes I've been getting a lot of questions about whether they're gonna restock and they are not restocking these were limited edition Let's move on to the face first. Let's prime. I'm using the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base I've heard really good things about this. So now that we're onto the face part. I don't need to focus as much I actually had some things I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna use the Clio Cushion Foundation. I've been really liking this, but this one is just a little bit too light, so I have to mix it. Recently, I went to Head in the Clouds, and it was a lot bigger this year. I mean, they had two stages again, but it was at the Rose Bowl Stadium instead of the LA Historic Park. I guess, like, after quarantine, sort of ended. I was so sick of staying inside for so long that I expected I would really like socializing. Like I thought I became a little bit of an extrovert after COVID, but I actually, it was so overwhelming for me that I actually had to leave early on the second day. Like I really liked seeing everybody again, you know, and meeting new friends and stuff, but it was just so, so much social energy. And I think I was just, in shock the day after 88 I literally slept all day I was quite drained but yeah I realized something else about myself recently that I feel like I never really see people talk about and I wonder if you guys can relate to this you guys know that I grew up in like a really small town right and I was like one of the only few Asians there so I always perceived myself as quite unattractive so I think that sort of affected me until I learned how to do makeup and seeing people who uh, are not the Southern beauty standard who are still beautiful online and then moving to LA and everything. I didn't realize that it still affects me to this day because I've always thought like, you know, it's not really unhealed trauma of being ugly or anything. It's like everybody has an awkward stage. But I don't really get along with people I perceive would be like the popular kids, right? And I mean that not in like outgoing people. Maybe I should say mean girls. But I find that now that I fit a some type of a beauty standard, people who may not have accepted me before accept me now, it creates a sort of cognitive dissonance for me that is very uncomfortable. Because being sort of in the whole influencer space, I think you meet a lot of people who have sort of mean girl tendencies and then they think that you would too. Like, I don't even know necessarily how to describe it. There's this sort of thing that I think a lot of people who later in life experience pretty privilege that most other people wouldn't be able to relate to. Sorry, I went a little too hard on the nose contouring. I just wanted to see if anybody else has experienced this, like growing up not accepted and then randomly being accepted and then feeling like you don't belong. Ooh, this eyeshadow is really pretty. Maybe I should use it. It's like a sparkly burgundy. And 
And then we're gonna also take the red shadow and connect this to that line. Wait, I really want to use a sparkly shadow though. Somebody talk me out of it. I'm gonna do it. <gasps> do you see that? It's so sparkly. Oh my gosh, this would be so cute for like holiday stuff. Let's do blush. So I've been using this one from Romand. And then I also really want to use bronzer today. I don't really use bronzer anymore. Let's use this one from Patrick Ta. Oh, maybe I should use some of the pink from this palette. Let's do highlighter next. I am using Moonrise from M Cosmetics, this shade. Okay, I'm gonna use Frac Noir to add some fake moles. I like to dab them to make them dry faster. These are the false lashes from Petite Cosmetics, which is by Tina Young. I think I need to stop messing with the eyes because I just keep on adding stuff, so I'm just gonna move on to lips. I'm only using that on the very top where I want it to be overlined because this stuff does not budge. But I want to blend in my lip liner and make like a custom shade sort of. See how the top is still dark and the edges aren't? That's what I've been doing lately. And then also I like to use the Charlotte Tilbury one on the edges. Let's first use the Magic Lip Oil. So Peri Peri, you guys know I love their Ink Airy Velvet lip tints, but I recently tried their Ink Velvet. This one's more of a creamy matte formula. So I'm using number 17 in Rosy Nude. I've been obsessed with this shade. See, it's such a perfect nude, but I want a more burgundy shade or more of a brown. What if we do brown lips? This one, I think it was discontinued. It's the Too Faced Peach Puff. I love this formula so much. It looks like such a perfect diffused matte. Okay, so now that makeup is done, I wanted to show you my outfit. This entire outfit is actually from Naywai. So this top is from their Barely Zero line, and let me tell you, if you're somebody who can't wait until the end of the day to take off your bra, you need to try the Barely Zero line. They're seamless, and they're made with this really soft material, so it feels like you're wearing nothing. But they're also padded, so it has as much support as a traditional bra. It's really versatile to style too. You can just wear this under your clothes as normal, but you can also style them into actual outfits like this. It's also a really easy gift to shop for online since they have adaptive sizing. So their band size, it adapts up to 40 inches and their cups fit A to double D. Make sure to use code JV20 at nay.life to get 20% off of your first order or use the link in my description box. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to NAY for sponsoring this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.